Welcome to Native Instruments 205, Advanced Contact. In this course, we're going to unwrap the covers of Contact, dive underneath, and find out how to create and modify our own instruments. Now, there are certain prerequisites for this course, and they're covered in my introduction course 105. What we covered was how the user interface works in Contact, all the different components and buttons and knobs and things in the user interface. We spent a lot of time talking about the browser and how the browser works and how to set up your own catalogs of sounds and search for sounds. We talked about the Contact built-in factory library and the scripts that come with those instruments and how they all work. And finally, we talked about using Contact as a plugin using contact with Logic or Pro Tools or Ableton, and being able to manipulate contact with MIDI and host automation. Now, if you've been using contact for a while and you feel pretty comfortable with all of these things, or you've taken the 105 course, then you'll be fine with 205. But you definitely wanna know how to do these things before diving into this course. So what are we going to cover in advanced contact? Well, to start with, we're going to look at the structure of a contact instrument. We're going to start at the sample level, the individual audio files which make up an instrument, and we're going to build it all the way up to instruments and multis, showing you all the different things you can do with your instrument along the way. Within the structure of an instrument, there are many things we can do to the audio. So we'll talk about signal flow and adding effects, insert effects and group effects and filters and all kinds of things to make our instruments more exciting. We'll move on from there to talk about modulators. Modulators are things like envelopes and LFOs and step sequencers, and they allow your instrument to breathe, to have some movement and texture. It's a staple of any good sampler, and Contact has a very elaborate scheme for allowing you to modulate just about any parameter. And lastly, we'll touch on scripting. Now, the scripts in Contact allow you to do very complex things, actually make your instruments intelligent. Things like a round robin, which will play a different sample every time you hit a key to avoid the dreaded machine gun effect, or automatic harmonization of the notes that you play. Now, we won't talk about how to build the scripts because that's a whole programming course. We will, however, talk about how to use the scripts that come with Contact and that are available out there on the web to make your own instruments take advantage of all of this intelligence. So as you can see, there's an awful lot to cover in this course. We're going to get on with the show right now by starting with a high-level overview of the instrument structure 